Task management is one of the three core components of an effective productivity system, and it's incredibly easy to lose control of. I'm definitely guilty of spending countless hours building complex systems, only to scrap them because they were too hard to maintain. On Cal Newport's podcast, he talks about the idea of a minimum viable productivity system, making your system as easy as possible so you don't spend more time managing it than actually getting things done. I've been exploring how to build one inside of Obsidian, and I've got some simple task management ideas I've been experimenting with. Let me show you what I've found so far. I wanted to start off as simple as possible, so I just created a new note inside of my vault, and I'm going to call this task management. The simplest thing to start off with is just by creating a list of checkboxes for me to be able to keep track of my tasks. To add in a checkbox, you just do Command L if you're on Mac or Control L if you're on Windows. If you're seeing a square box instead of a circle, that's because by default, Obsidian puts them in as squares. I have a theme that's adding mine in as circles. I'm just going to create some random tasks here. Now, I could do it just like this, where I just have a file that has a bunch of tasks inside of it, and as I get them done, I just check them off. And this might be enough for most people. And, you know, as a day goes on, maybe I go through and I delete the ones that I've completed so that it doesn't get super cluttered up. And then just as things are needing to get done, I can add them to the list and then just check them off as I get them done. And, and then as I said, every once in a while, just delete things. This is truly a minimal approach, but I don't think for me that it's quite enough. I would like to have a little bit more organization around my task management. So what I'm gonna try next is I'm gonna create a few headings inside of this note. I'm gonna start by creating an active section And then I'm going to have a backlog. And then I'm also going to have an archive. So the things that go inside of the active section are things that I am currently in progress or things that I'm about to start, like I'm about to work on them next. So I don't want to have everything that I'm doing inside of active. So I'm going to command cut those and put them under the backlog. And then that way I know that this third task is the one that I'm focusing on right now. And these are things that are gonna be coming up in the future. So as I'm going about my day and I get this third task complete, I can go ahead and check it off. And then let's say this fourth task is something that I need to do next. I can just highlight it, drag it up, it's now inside of the active section. And also, as I'm going throughout my day, there's other tasks that occur to me that I want to do in the future. So I add them here. We're gonna say, take out the trash, mow the lawn, complete report. I put them inside of my backlog because they're things that I want to remember to do in the future, but they're not what's actively being worked on right now. At the end of the day, after I've completed a bunch of tasks, let's say I completed this fourth task, at the end of the day, I can grab these, drag them down here into the archive, and now my active section is clear, ready for the next day. Then maybe next I want to be able to take out the trash, so I can cut and paste that up into active. And maybe this archive is getting really long. Uh, Obsidian allows you to be able to collapse things underneath headers so I can just collapse that and then that's hidden away. Maybe this backlog is really big and I don't want it to distract me from what I'm actively working on so I can collapse that as well. Now let's say I want to not have every single task inside of this one file. Maybe I have notes that are projects And inside of those projects, there are tasks that I want to make sure to get done. I want them to be associated with that project, but I also want to be able to see which of those tasks are active. If this is the case, we can go ahead and grab the Tasks plugin by going to Settings, Community Plugins, then Browse. We're going to go to Tasks, install it, enable it. And then let's go and create a new note, and this is going to be a project. And inside of our project, we have different tasks. Step one, step two, step 
three and step four. I want these different steps of this project to show up inside of my task management lists. To do this, we're going to write some queries using the tasks plugin. I'm going to get rid of that and then I'm going to do three back ticks. I'm going to say tasks. And inside of here, I'm going to put the words not done. And then I'm going to hit enter after the closing back ticks. And we can see that we've gone and grabbed all of the tasks, all the checkboxes that are in our vault that are unchecked, that are not done. This is grabbing all of those project tasks, but it's also grabbing the things that are inside of our backlog here. We don't want the tasks that are in this list to be showing up in here. So we need to do some filtering of this. Now, in order to have these show up in the active list, we need some way of indicating that they are active. So going back over here, I can do a hash active next to this step one and then going back to task management we're going to go into our tasks query block here we're going to say not done and we're going to say tags include active and now when we click out of it this will grab only the tasks that have the tag of active so now as I'm going about my day, maybe I get this task completed. I can check the box. And now because it has been checked, this query doesn't pull it in anymore because it's completed. It's done. So that makes it go away and we don't even need to worry about this archive section anymore. Now what about this backlog section? I don't want to have to tag everything that's not active to be backlog. That creates more work for maintaining the system, and that's something that we're trying to avoid by building a minimum viable productivity system. So for the backlog, I want to be able to see tasks that are throughout the vault that are not marked as active. So I'm going to take these, and I'm actually going to move them into a daily note so they're no longer inside of my task management file and inside of my task management file under backlog I'm going to do those three back ticks again I'm going to say tasks we're going to say not done and we're going to say no tags so now we can see everything throughout our vault that does not have a tag so this step two step three step four from our project and then these tasks that are inside of our daily note if I want to make one of these an active tasks I can click on this little edit icon to the side and right next to this title in the description, I can put tag of active, hit apply. And now I have moved that task from my backlog into my active list. And I'm able to do that all inside of my task management file. So I've done a very minimal implementation of a plugin that can very easily be made to be very complex. There are all sorts of different queries that you can do inside of these query blocks. You can create some very complex, difficult systems. In my professional career, I'm a software developer, and so these types of queries, code blocks, and things are stuff that I am very familiar with. If this is something that you are interested in learning more about, you should take a look at the courses that are available on today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Brilliant's lessons aren't just passive video lectures. They're hands-on, interactive experiences that help you put the skills you're learning into practice right away. The lessons perfectly build on one another, helping you solidify your knowledge of each concept before moving on to the next. Brilliant helps you build a habit of daily learning, Instead of mindlessly and endlessly scrolling through social media, spend a few minutes each day feeding your brain something new. If you'd like to learn to think more like a programmer, Brilliant's newly updated programming courses will help you break down complex problems into manageable chunks of code and teach you how to apply them in real-world situations. Learning how to program is a great way to learn how to build systems, including productivity systems. It's these system-building skills that have helped me the most as I've experimented and tinkered with my productivity system over time. Brilliant also features great foundational knowledge in related subjects, such as math, science, data, and AI. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash creative labs or scan the QR code on screen, or you can click in the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off a premium annual subscription. Thank you so much to Brilliant for sponsoring this video.
So we can further enhance the things that we've created so far with a couple of other plugins. I'm going to go back to our community plugins, browse, and I'm going to install the cardboard plugin. And then I have this cardboard icon that shows up on the side. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to create a new board. I'm going to call it Task Management. And I'm going to do a tag board. Hit Add. So we've got some options for filtering those tasks here. I want all of the tasks throughout the entire vault. I don't want to limit it to certain paths or folders or anything. So I'm just going to keep that all as it is. And then down here, you can create different columns that you want. So I want a backlog and I want an active. And then I'm going to have a completed column. So now I'm going to close this up. And we now have our tasks lists in kind of a, a nice visual representation of what we have over here on our task management file. We now see things in columns, so it's very easy for me to see everything that's in my active column, everything that's in my backlog. And I can collapse the columns just like I could over in the task management file. And as I complete tasks, I can click the checkbox and it will automatically move them from the active list over to the completed list. And by default, this will have the last 10 items that I completed. And so once there are more than 10, they'll start to disappear. So anybody who's familiar with Kanban will kind of recognize this different column approach. The one big downside that this plugin has is that there's it doesn't allow you to be able to drag and drop cards from one column to another. So I can't mark this task as complete by dragging it over. I just have to click the checkbox that's next to it. It's not that huge a deal, but if that is what you want, that ability to drag, this plugin it will not give it to you. So maybe you're like me and you actually really like that idea of having all of the tasks that you're managing inside of Obsidian inside of a single note. To me, that feels much more minimal rather than having all these different tasks spread throughout the vault. There is a way that you can enhance that single note idea that we had earlier, and that's by using another plugin. We're going to go back to Community Plugins, Browse, and we're going to install the Kanban plugin. So now we see this new icon that's underneath the cardboard one. We're going to click Create New Board. We're going to create some lists on this. We're going to create an active. We're going to create a backlog. So we're going to say Completed. And then I want to mark cards in this list as complete. So I'm going to turn that on. We're going to hit add list and then hit done. All right, so I'm going to close this sidebar and then I want my active list to be where the backlog is. So I'm going to drag this over into the middle. So now I can go ahead and add my cards into these lists. So let's say mow the lawn, take out the trash. Then I'm going to add some to my backlog finish report or film YouTube video. And I actually want to take out the trash to be back in the backlog. And as you can see, I can very easily drag these between the lists. So when the mow the lawn is done, I can go ahead and drag this over here. And it is now inside of my completed column. And if I want to, I can go and edit some of these settings here. For one thing, I want to be able to see the checkboxes next to each of the tasks. So I'm going to toggle that on. And now I can see a checkbox. So if I have take out the trash and active, I'm going through my day, I'm done. I click the checkbox. It is now completed. Now one thing that the checking the box should have done is move it to the completed column. Let me go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this needs to have this on. I'm not sure why I didn't before. So now I'm gonna drag that over here. We're gonna finish the report and I guess it doesn't automatically add them in. Maybe if I drag them over. So if you drag something into the column, it marks it as complete. If you mark it as complete, it doesn't just automatically move it. You do have to drag it over. But what's cool about this is that this is just kind of a visual sugar on top of just a single note that is inside of your vault. I can actually go up to the tab here. I can right click and I can open as markdown. And this shows you what's happening underneath the hood. Uh, each of my columns are those headers like those headers that I set up in my task management single file before, and it has all the tasks under each of those columns. So let's go back. 
we're going to go back to Kanban board and I'm going to drag this back over here. And now when I, let's drag another one over to backlog so we can see. And we're going to open his markdown again. As you can see, those are now underneath those headers. If I wanted to, I can keep track of whole projects inside of this board. So I can add a card and we're going to do the double brackets for backlinks. And I'm going to link my project. I'm going to hit enter. And now this project that I created is now being managed on this board. And if I hover over this, I can see all the tasks that still need to be done inside of that project. So let's say I'm currently working on this project, which I am, as you can see, there's different steps that are marked off. Maybe I get step three done. Just using this hover, I can click and complete it right here. And then once this entire project is done, I can move that project over to the completed column and that entire project is now complete. And let's say this completed column has gotten really large. There's a lot of things in it. I can go up to this three dots here and I can say archive cards. It'll ask me if I'm sure. And boom, they're archived. They're completed. They're, they're stowed away. If I go into my markdown view again, you can see it created an archive header. Put these things underneath it for me automatically. I'll be doing a more in-depth video on this plugin in the future, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. If you decide to try out any of these methods, please let me know in the comments below how it goes. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how I'm approaching my note-taking in a minimalist way, you can check out this video next.